you know, there, there is a very, very thin dividing line between success and failure. I think space needs a lot of a lot of companies um, doing different things to um, to, uh, to to benefit the Earth back here. Um, I think um, Elon's absolutely fixated on going to Mars, and uh, and that is is almost I think is, is his life mission. And um, uh, and it's, it's it's as wonderful as you know Kennedy was fixated on on the moon the, the moon the moon shot. Um, I think Jeff and and ourselves are more interested in you know how we can use space to to you know benef benefit the earth because the, the earth is in my opinion extremely beautiful um, and needs to be protected and we just learnt on some of the ways that uh, we can protect the earth by using space uh, and then the other thing is just you know, there are thousands of people who would love the opportunity of becoming astronauts and, and going into space and um, but and, we're, and, and Virgin Galactic is the only company that's built a spaceship with wheels that can come back and land again um, and take take people up and get, you know enable them to become astronauts. Do everything that you possibly can to succeed. If you know you've done all that you can do, when you fail, you will still be able to pick yourself up and learn from it. But when you just give up, you won't be able to recover from those losses. But do realize that most people do fail at some point along the way. Don't beat yourself up over it, but rather learn from these encounters and come back and start again. So many of us mess up in our lives, and sometimes those mistakes lead to dire consequences. How you recover from these moments depends on a lot of factors, but the important part is knowing how to move past them and use the lessons to make yourself into a more successful person. It takes a lot of different types of people to make the world a better place, so don't focus too much on what other people are doing. Focus on what you are doing and how you can be the most effective at doing it. There is a very thin line between success and failure. Use the experiences in your life to determine what the next steps you need to take are. Regardless of what these steps look like, know that not everyone will support you. At the end of the day, you need to do whatever it takes to make these dreams become reality. Put in the hard work and don't worry about becoming beholden to any one person or group. Only you can make a difference in your life and only you can bring yourself up from zero to hero. You do everything you can um, to, to, you know, to survive and not to give up. Um, you know, as long as you've tried every, every, everything you can, uh, then if you fail, um, you'll, sleep, you'll sleep okay and, um, and you'll pick yourself up and you'll learn, you know, when, and when things are better, you'll learn from your mistakes and you'll start again. Um, you know, if on the other hand you give up, you know, you give up too readily, you'll, 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 you'll forever kick yourself. Um, and, um, uh, and I wish you, I wish you all, I wish you all the best of your best in, in your quest to, uh, cause there's going to be, I'm afraid there's going to be a lot of people who will fail. Um, but I think, I think the other important thing is just not to, not to take, not to take failure too seriously. I mean, it's, it, it's, it's something that happens to something like 80% of all small business people fail, um, either go into chapter 11 or, or, or actually go bankrupt. And, um, and, and, and that's a lot of people, and, um, and, and some people take that really badly, and, and, uh, and, they, and they should realize that you know, it's, it, it's an important thing just to learn, learn from it and, and, uh, uh, and, and, and come back and start again. And an awful lot of you know, really big you know, multi-millionaires and billionaires who've been through two or three bankrupt companies in, in their lives um, and have, have, have learned from them and have, have come, back, come back the stronger. I, w I think uh, so many of us uh, mess up in our lives. Um, I was lucky I messed up when I was 19 years old. Uh, thought I could get away with not paying some tax. It's not a good idea. Um, and ended up uh, a night in prison. Um, I was fortunate. My parents um, had a house. They were willing to mortgage the house. I didn't, I didn't have to spend longer in prison. Um, and I think you know, that's a system that's flawed. You know, why, why should in a, you know, people uh, while they're waiting on bail who can't afford it go to prison and people who can afford it not go to prison, but that's another subject. Uh, you know, that moment just being in prison, um, you know, made me, first of all, realize I didn't like the idea of going to prison. So fr from then on, I think I've managed to, um, you know, make sure I make decisions where I can sleep well at night and, 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 and avoid that. But I've also just learned that um, if you, you know, if you give people a second chance in life, and, and I had a second chance, I wouldn't have been employing 60,000 people, I suspect, if I'd spent two or three months in prison. 
you know, there, there is a very, very thin dividing line between success and failure. Um, most people who set up in business without financial backing, um, they fail at some times in their lives. And, you know, I've only just stayed at the right side of that dividing line. Um, for instance, just after, you know, we, we, we had a record company, I was fed up flying on other people's airlines. I, I felt that the uh, experience of flying on other people's airlines was an unpleasant one. Uh, and I decided to set up an airline. Um, our bank went into uh, into um, complete panic attack, um, and uh, when I came back from doing the inaugural flight of uh, Virgin Atlantic's very very first flight from London to New York. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more content.